Well, this isn't Wembley Stadium, it is, of course, Ellen Road, Leeds, and we're here for what should be a marvellous occasion. There is, of course, a sad thought here because the teams wouldn't be here but for the tragedy at the Bradford City Ground in May. And the reason the match has been put on here today is to raise money for the Bradford Disaster Appeal. Well, it's going to be, well, there was somebody else at uh, Wembley in 1966 at that World Cup final, and I'm sure Ian St John has got many memories of the day. Well, that's right, John. I was uh, one of the few Scots, and I suppose, who was at the game, and I must say I was delighted that England won that match. And with me, the skipper of the England side, Bobby Ross, please. and uh, of, with his old teammate, Jeff Huss. Just a light hearted interruption. <laughs> uh, anyway, I was going to say, Bob, nice to have all the lads together again. Yeah, it's tremendous, really. You know, it's going to be the first time that we've all been together on a football pitch uh, since 1966. We have been involved in one or two similar events, but it's never been possible for all 11 to be there at once. So, you know, it's going to be a wee bit unique, and I think everyone's really looking forward to it. One or two of the lads uh, are carrying an injury or two, and I gather they won't be doing the 90 minutes. Well, I think, um, you know, because of circumstances, it's not going to be possible for everyone to play the whole 90 minutes. I think you'll probably get a good half to 60% of the team be able to go through the whole game, but others, you know, they've got one or two injury problems and uh, age creeps on, which we can't control, and... Uh, <laughs> It's just going to be that much harder for some. Now, Jack, that's a nice picture of you there in the programme. <laughs> so, so you've put on a little bit of weight since then. 12, uh, 12 stone 6, youthful Jack Charlton with hair. Now 15 stone. 15 stone. You wouldn't believe it looking at me, would you? Uh, look, looking back to, to the 66 game, one of the things that I think niggled you about it was you didn't feel it was a free kick before they got that second goal. I didn't see anything happen, I just, I just, the ball bounced and it went up me and I just saw it and I went after it and as I jumped and headed it, I fell on top of somebody as I came down and uh, he gave a free kick, which is, I mean, you know, who knows what we give free kicks for in football anyway. Yeah. Just happened that they scored from it. I've never seen it from that day to this. You haven't? No. So you're looking forward no. to reun reunion acquaintances this afternoon? Yeah, well, I've seen a few of the lads. I've seen uh, Franz Tilskowski and, and uh, Franz Beckenbauer. And waved at a few of them that I know their faces, but I couldn't put the names to. And, and <laughs> You're struggling to the English boys. <laughs> true, true, true. That's right, Jim. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, Alan, looking forward to the game this afternoon. Yeah, very much so. Um, a little bit out of shape, but, uh, you know, it's, it's a great occasion and uh, for a very, very good cause. Well, looking back to 66, Alf Ramsey said after the match, that you would never play a better game in your life? I can't remember much about it, to be honest with you, Ian, but, uh, you know, looking at, at films of it, uh, had a decent sort of match, yeah. yeah. And never, never stopped running from start to finish. Well, that was, I was six foot three before I started. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bobby, 66 means so much to so many people. You know, what does it mean to you? Well, it was the climax of a, of a career, really, I suppose. I mean, every little lad, you know, Ian, when, when you start playing football, you want to actually play for your country. Um, you don't ever think that eventually, you know, your country will actually win the title of being the best in the world. And that's it. it was uh, terrific for me. I think at the time when, it was, when Ashley was going on, I didn't really feel the importance of it. But afterwards, when, I, when everybody suddenly started saying, this was the greatest day of my life, you know, and I've never missed that for anything. And, and then I realized, um, but it was a great day for a player to be able to say I was, I won, a, won in the team that was, was the best. I think we've played seven or eight times over the last 19 years. It's like an old boys reunion. I think great credit to Sir Alf Ramsey who, who uh, picked a bunch of players who were all very, very uh, tremendous professionals. And uh, we never, we're never going to get beat every time we walked onto the park. And that's been, that is basically the strength of the of team. The West Germans was a special moment. But all eyes were on Franz Beckenbauer, now West Germany's manager, but in 66, a mere 19-year-old. 
You had to mark Bobby Charlton that day, didn't you? Yes, I'm still tired from <laughs> marking him. <laughs> and they're taking it seriously, you know. Team talk sleeps before so the game. So I've heard, yes. I'm not too pleased about this. Have you had a sleep before the game? Uh, I slept last night. <laughs> 1966, the England dressing room was full of tension. This time it was more relaxed. Bobby Charlton hoping to score his 50th international goal, perhaps. A chance not only to look forward to the next 90 minutes, but also back to the good old days. With me here, two of the fastest fullbacks in football. Ray Wilson and George Cohen. Now, how fast are you now, boys? <laughs> it's a leading question, Ray, isn't it? You know, is it necessary to answer that sort of thing? Yeah. Have you been training for the match? No, yeah. I haven't. I, I can't do very much anyway. Yeah. These days. You've got a bad knee. No, no, I'm just bad all over. <laughs> Start with you, you're working up. That's right, that's right. I, I, um, I think we're too busy these days to, to uh, get that to do any sort of training. No, oh, Ray is. I mean, he's constantly in work. Yeah, but Ray has also got a bad finger there. You've got a poison finger. I have indeed, yes. It was, it's been very nasty, is that? Uh, I thought I was going to be standing for Banksy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I've had to trouble with my knee. Yeah, I, I, I saw you up again, but honestly, not so long ago, and you reminded me very, very much of myself. <laughs> well, hobble around <laughs> a good leg. Right, yeah. Okay, Norby, how are you feeling? Nervous. Nervous, yeah, yeah. yeah. By all accounts, the Germans are taking it serious, so uh, big, the nerves start to get active, don't they? A little bit. You know. Are you keeping the glasses on? No, no, I'm not wearing the glasses, but I'm not wearing my contact lenses, so I don't think I'll be getting any tackles in here anyway. So. <laughs> so you were always known as the hatchet man. Well, that's what they said, yeah. So uh, I used to make a bit of contact, all right, but yeah. uh, not, today. not today. So you're going to take it easier there? Well, these days I'm a ball player anyway, with the are knees you? and that, yeah, with the kids. Sophisticated. Well, I'm a nutmeg man now, yeah. All that, all that other stuff's gone. <laughs> well, we shall look for that this afternoon. Thanks, Ian. Yeah. Can we say first of all, first, thank you very much for, for coming over here for the disaster fund. Yes, it's a pleasure. It was a pleasure for us, and we, are, we, will, we will be very, very proud, you know, to get us to play uh, this game because of the because of this disaster, because of the benefit reason. So we are very pleased to, you know, to get asked and uh, we look forward to, you know, to play against our old fellows. Yeah. Now you're taking it very seriously. Did your players have a sleep when you arrived today? Uh, no, no, not me, but uh, some of our uh, teammates, probably they need it. The older probably ones. They, have, they had a rough night last night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not me. Uh, I stayed overnight in Frankfurt and I flew in with the team, uh, so uh, no problem. We don't, we, we don't take it too serious.